Hey everybody, so today I uh, disconnected those six solar panels up there from these ten solar panels here. These ten are uh, 24 volts. Uh, these two are in series, but they're paralleled with those two. So on. This is a 24. It's like one big 24 volt, uh, 1,000 watt panel, kind of. That's kind of what it is. Those up there, I've got something a little different with them. Uh, the two outside panels closest to me, closest to the camera, they are paralleled. They're 12 volt panels to begin with. They're, this panel here is paralleled with this panel, giving 200 watts at 12 volts. I snuck it together, put it down inside. That's going to my grid tie inverter. The other four panels back there, they're the same way, but only in a 400 watt configuration, and it's going down to where the new grid tie inverter is going to go when it gets here in a couple days, but everything is prepared. So I've got 1,000 watts that can go off-grid, or that is still off-grid, charging my off-grid batteries, and I have 600 watts that is grid tied. Uh, kind of just playing with it and learning how it works, and if I like it, I may buy some more panels to put on, on the grid. Uh, well, let's go look at it inside. I can show you a little better, I think. So I've got the grid tie inverter here, and you can see the lights doing their thing. And I think you can hear the fan running. Uh, they say they get warm. This one is not warm. I mean, it's slightly warm. And I got 80... Uh, 88.5 volts. Or amp... shit. Watts! One of them things. Watts that are uh, pumping back into my on-grid service. Now, this thing's not mounted. It's just kind of sitting here. Uh, once the other one gets here, I'm going to decide whether I want to mount it up on the wall, that ugly ass wall there, or if I want to mount them flat. And I do want to build an enclosure around this, but I don't, you know, it's going to have to be a, a breathable enclosure in case these do get hot. And I do have another little computer fan that if it does get too warm in there, you know, I can hook that little guy up. Uh, it's been running all day. Now 200 watt, 200 watts from two 100 watt panels are only giving me 88 uh, watts right now. Uh, the highest I saw, I think it was up to like 115, and that was around noon when there was when the sun was beating directly on it. It was kind of overhead. I would get more if it was if the panels were angled into the sun more, but as the days get longer, the sun gets higher in the sky. This will improve. So it's kind of like at the peak today, it was like right around 50% efficiency. So you know they're not real efficient, but you know whatever. That's that's energy that I'm not having to pay for right now. That's getting pumped back into my household electricity and it's supplementing it not very much but it is supplementing it the off-grid panels the thousand watts that I have are doing great uh, I did use it pretty heavily today but it was a very sunny day and you can see right there's all the information I don't have to read it to you you can read it uh, just it's pretty cool uh, got more than enough for that but that's because it's been sunny had it been overcast or had they been covered in snow or whatever, then you know, you know. <laughs> Neato. Well, I guess today's about done with. Uh, this guy looks really cool right now. And it kind of reminds me of something, uh, I don't know, a year or two or maybe three, something like that, ago. I was laying on the trampoline with my kids. Uh, well, Probably my little guy or maybe my youngest son and just looking at the sky and I've always had this dream to go to Alaska and you know I, I kind of said something like I wonder what the sky looks like in Alaska right now and for some reason that that just me saying that has stuck with me uh, I'm pretty sure I know you probably can't tell right now but the the clouds are moving that way uh, and I'm sure the sky is a lot bigger up there because they don't have many deciduous trees which limit our view here but yeah incredibly blue sky that way and a little bit of clouds moving in all the way down to well, that's where the horizon is over there and there's trees I'm sure the sky is more influential to people up there. I guess it would seem probably closer. Uh, I don't know, it's incredibly beautiful. 
Anyway, yeah, did the solar stuff. Uh, spent some time in the camper today. No leaves on the trees yet, but if you look up yonder, there's buds. I think you can see them. I can't hold it still, but there's buds up there. There's going to be leaves here pretty soon. And those clouds are gorgeous. Anyway, folks, I uh, appreciate everybody watching. And, uh, yeah, we'll do some cool stuff here pretty soon. Have a good one.